Hey y'all, welcome back. I got a package in the mail, a big package from Not Consumed, and I am gonna go through it with you guys, tell you what I got and why, so stick around. Okay, we're gonna start small and then we're gonna work, work our way up to some of the bigger things. The first two things I'm gonna share with you were actually free gifts. I don't know if they are still doing this, but they were just free gifts with every purchase. So something worth looking into. And I did do two orders <laughs> because I was able to get a sale at one point and then Kim did her birthday sale and I wanted to go ahead and get a few more things for the second half of the school year, but also for next year. So my first things are the free gifts, which are these cute little like magnetic bookmarks, little anchored bag magnetic bookmarks, really, really cute. So love those. And then the quiet time sticker collection. So these will be fun for my daughter and I. I I really honestly, I don't know how we're gonna use them. I would assume there's probably something that it, it actually pairs with. So I may look into that or we may just use them as just our own personal quiet time stickers and not really pair it with whatever it may go with. The next thing I got were these joy prayer cards. So this is to help kind of encourage uh, a more robust prayer life for your children. And I just think we're really at a point now where we could use that just to give some different ideas for my daughter of different things that she can pray about each day, different verses to look up, things like that. So this that's what these are going to be for. Not exactly sure how I will implement them, but I think this is going to be really, really valuable. And this is something that we will start sooner rather than later. The next thing I got was the Bible timeline, and this will actually pair really great with another item that I got that I will share with you guys last probably. But I just think this is a great res resource to have anyway. And I, it was a couple bucks, I, I, I maybe $5. I just think it's really, it's really awesome to have. There's a lot of really good information in there and it folds up nicely. So it's something easy to keep up with. You could tuck it in a three ring binder. You can put it in a folder, put it in your Bible bag, wherever. But this is really, really great. Okay, and this is the first of the studies that I got. And I actually got this one because it was like extremely discounted because there are two typos in it, I believe. And I will go back to the website and check them so that I can correct them. But for the price, I couldn't beat it. Uh, and this is Uncovering Mercies at the Manger. I did get the junior level for my daughter. And so this is the Christmas Bible study. So I went ahead and grabbed that. And then with this actually comes the little sticker collection as well. So these cute little, cute little stickers there, right? So very excited about that one. Okay. This next thing, I wasn't planning on getting this entire set. I actually was just going to get one of the items in the set. And then once I, once I really started looking into it, I, I knew we would probably go ahead and do all of these. This will likely get us through the end of the school year and you get a bunch of fun extras with it anyway. And I got it on sale. So there was just a lot of things working, working for me um, when it came to convincing myself to just go ahead and get the Abide bundle. Okay, so this is the Abide Heart Series bundle. This is how it's packaged and it comes with all of these cute things. So we have these like challenge dice. Not exactly sure how we use that, but I'm sure we will, we will learn. All of these cute, fun pins. We have like a sword and a key, an avocado. Here's 
lots of cute things. They may also go with it. And some stickers, some cute little stickers. So these are the five studies in the heart or the abide series. So we have keep thy heart with the sticker collection for that one. We have fruit of the tongue, okay? And also the sticker collection. We have do right. Oh, and it's not just stickers. Actually, content heart. We will open one of those up. Work unto the Lord. And you know I love that one with the chickens and things. Okay, so if we open up one of these, this is the Keep Thy Heart study, right? So again, all of these are in the junior level, and I just got the student book. I didn't get the teacher book. The idea is that my daughter works on these alone, and then we come together and can talk about them once she has completed them. Comes with your stickers, but then also... Here's a cute little bookmark that goes with it. And then your challenge cards. So each week she has a different challenge to complete. So that's what comes in those studies. The next thing that I got is the My God Says Life Journal Junior Edition, the Girls Junior Edition. I got this because the second half of the year, we are going to be learning about human body. And with that, we are also going to be learning about growing up. And I thought this would be a really wonderful resource for my daughter to kind of help develop some quiet time, some Bible time. She'll work on this along with a couple of other resources that I have for her. And I think this just will pair very nicely with everything else that we're going to be learning about in the second half of the school year. I will be sharing all of those resources in coming videos. So if that is something that you're interested in or you just kind of need some ideas for tackling that topic, then make sure you subscribe to my channel because like I said, I will be sharing all of that in the coming weeks. But this is the My God Says Life Journal and it just walks her through all of the things that God says about her. She's valuable, gifted, able, heard, victorious, safe, content, all of those things. And it's done in just very small little chunks that will be easy for her to do in her own time. So I'm really, really looking forward to implementing this in just a couple of months. We, we will start this one. And then, of course, I saved the best for last because this we actually will probably start next school year, but I really wanted to get my hands on it, look at it, check it out, figure out how we were going to make it work. Because I th think for history next year, we are going to, to do a focus on ancient times, which also means we are going to be going through the Old Testament. So I got the Old Testament Faithopedia. I have heard so many great things about this. And so far, just looking through it, it does not disappoint. So we will work through this together. It goes through some different stories, the books of the Bible, different chapters, different verses, words uh, or characters of God all kinds of really, really great things in here. But one thing that I did actually purchase is the Faithopedia journal. So a lot of people will buy just the, the Faithopedia by itself and just kind of work through this at like morning time or during breakfast or lunch and things like that, which it's very possible that we will use that in a similar way. But I thought for my daughter, having this little journal will actually be really helpful for her to kind of take what we're talking about and put it down somewhere so that we can come back and reference it. And one thing that I did not know that I really, really love and, and makes me even more excited that I purchased it was it actually gives all of these stickers in the front to fill out some of the initial information. So it has all of these fun stickers that correlate with what you're, wor we, 
with each section that you're learning that day and the sections are color coded to match what you are covering in your faithopedia if you notice each each of the days there are different colors and so your journal matches that which makes it really easy to follow but then also for my daughter since i am kind of upping things a little bit and adding a little bit more to her plate. The idea that she has some stickers she can put into this one so she's not physically writing all of that is a really, really great addition that I did not know was even included in this. And actually, I have one more thing and I almost forgot about it because my daughter has already started using it. She was so excited to get the reading journal from Not Consumed. So this is for grades two through five. And we have tried so many different ways to do book reports and reading logs and, and all of those things. And just there's really honestly not been anything that has stuck yet. But she's very, very excited about this. Each day is a little bit different. Like each one of these little activities for the books are different. And so she's really liking that so far. She's already filled out two of them. So I think that's... That's a good sign so far, and it gives them the option. Some of these are for fiction books. Some of them are for any book. Some of them are for nonfiction. So it really gives her a large variety, and she can kind of choose whatever she wants to do with that. So that's my not consumed haul. Remember, I will be sharing kind of more of our human body, growing up, all of that kind of stuff that will be coming out soon. So make sure you are subscribed. But that is it for today's video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.